Well, hello, uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Worship Wednesday. Here we are live in Nashville today. Yeah. Hello, Augustina. <laughs> Boy, you're, you're second one up. Choma is first, uh, Augustina in Jakarta. God bless you and all the family there. Hello, London. Hello, A- Amy Fowler. Hello, Rudolph. Hello. <laughs> okay. Bacolod City. Yeah. The city of smiles um, in the Philippines. Yeah. Good morning, Anne. Hello, David in Chicago. Cape Town, Eth- Ethne. <laughs> Alberta. <laughs> India. Hello, India. Yeah. Amen. Well, it is good to see some familiar names. Thank you for joining me for this Worship Wednesday. Um, I was gone last week, as you know. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Beautiful day here in Nashville. Um, we have, um, well, I haven't been outside yet, but I looked at the weather like... 69 or 70 degrees this morning, sunny, maybe up to 71 now. Wow. And those of you in Texas are roasting. I know you are. Uh, South Texas, our daughter's down there in San Antonio. But we are happy to have a nice uh, 71, 72, 73 degrees and sunny here in Nashville today. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us. Oh, happy 51st wedding anniversary. Thank you, Augustina. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. I got a picture I'll show you. <laughs> well, let's sing a little bit, worship, and then uh, we'll have another visit. Say to those who are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. The Lord your God is strong. With his mighty arms When we call on his name He will come and save He will come and save you He will come and save you Say to the weary ones Your God will surely come He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to Him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. Say to those who are broken hearted, do not lose your faith. The Lord your God is strong with his loving arms when you call on his name. He will come and save, yes he will. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Oh, He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to Him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. Listen. He is your refuge in the day of trouble. He is our shelter in the time of storm. He is our tower in the day of sorrow, our fortress in the time of war. And He will come and save you. 
He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save Lift up your eyes to Him, you will arise again. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to Him, you will arise again. Lift up your eyes to Him, you will arise again. Lift up your eyes to Him, you will arise again. He will come and save you. Yes, He will. Oh, yes, He will. Yeah, lift up your eyes to Him. Keep your eyes on Him. He will come and save you. Amen. The sun comes up. It's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again Whatever may pass And whatever lies before me Let me be singing When the evening comes Bless the Lord, O oh my soul O oh my soul Worship His holy name Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship His holy name. You're rich in love and you're slow to anger. Your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness. I will keep on singing 10,000 reasons for my heart to find Sing it Bless the Lord, O oh my soul O oh my soul Worship His holy name Sing like never before O oh my soul I worship His holy name. And on that day when my strength is failing, the end draws near and my time has come, still my soul sings your praise unending. 10,000 years and then forevermore. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul. I'll worship His holy name. Sing it. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, O oh my soul, worship His holy name. Sing like never before, O oh my soul, I'll worship His holy name. Oh, I'll worship His holy name. Yes, I worship His holy name. Hear our prayer. We are your children and we've gathered here today. We've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry. Oh, Lord, we need your mercy 
and we need your grace today. Hear us as we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins, we pray. Hear our song as it rises to heaven. May your glory fill the earth as the waters cover the sea. See our hearts and remove anything that is standing in the way of coming to you today. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven, forgive our sins, we pray. And though we are few, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. And this is the song we'll be singing forever. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Let's worship Him. Holy is the Lord. Holy the Lord. Holy is the Lord, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins, we pray, our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins, we pray. Forgive our sins, we pray. Forgive our sins, we pray. Oh, yes. Amen. Lord, we do come to you today. You said when you taught us how to pray. He said, pray this way, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive tr our, those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, praying the Lord's Prayer. I, I was in pl playing, playing and praying. <laughs> I started thinking, what chord am I playing? And then I thought, what word am I praying? <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, good morning, good afternoon, evening, wherever you are. 
This is Worship Wednesday. I had to turn my monitor up a little bit. Because I was playing the piano really hard to try to hear something. Okay. Hey, uh, Belind, is it Belind in the Philippines? Hello there. Renali in the Philippines. So we got the Philippines watching today. Vilma in Hawaii is watching. Uh, Lisi in Mexico. Sam in Kerala, India. Yeah, I've, you know, I've never been there. I have um, wanted to go, but um, one of these days I'll get over there. Uh, Blossom from Nigeria. Hello there. Magdi in Hungary. <laughs> Thanks for joining again. Uh, Rose in Canada. Pam, Pamela in Marshfield, Wisconsin. Been there. Ina in Indonesia. Thanks for joining again. Uh, Sarah in the Congo. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Nancy in Glendale, California. Thanks for joining this morning. Uh, Lenive in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Thanks for joining. Uh, good to see your name again. Sarah in Malawi. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Ruby. Watching in Japan. Uh, Ruby. It's not Ruby Johnson, is it? Um, although it wouldn't surprise me the way you travel. Anyway, Ruby watching to Japan. Oh, it's not Ruby Johnson. Okay. Uh, Jane in Jakarta is watching. <laughs> May. I love these names. Ina in Indonesia. Jane in Jakarta. Uh, May is watching from Samoa. Maria in Tokyo, Japan. I love touring Japan. I haven't been there in a long time. I had a dream one time of a fire sweeping all across from the west to the east in Japan, a fire of revival. And that's why I wanted to go, and I still want to go, and I pray that that dream comes to pass for Japan. Amen. Um, A fire of revival. Hello, Regina in Paris. Thanks for watching. I'm assuming it's the Regina in Paris. We have a few uh, Reginas. Uh, Cynthia in Singapore is watching. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Beth in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, Heather in Edmonton, Alberta, Ella and really Ella and Bell watching in Hong Kong. Yeah, uh, Praveen John, hello Praveen John in Abu Dhabi, uh, Tamara Tamara in Allentown, PA, Pennsylvania, Philip in the United Arab Emirates, Alicia from Duluth, Minnesota watching again. I'll be up there in a f- couple of weeks. Um, uh, we're going fishing. I'm taking my boys up uh, fishing into northwest Ontario. Something we did um, years and years uh, when, the, when the boys were small. It's a little more complicated now that they have uh, children. And, um, and it's not as easy to say to your wife, hey, honey, I'm going fishing. Have fun with the five, <laughs> with the five kids while I'm gone. <laughs> so it takes a little more uh, planning uh, this way. Um, <laughs> Reguel wants me to sing You Will Be My Song Maybe I'll th- see how, how much time I have uh, I'll do that So um, Yeah Talking about all our grandkids uh, Monday here in the U.S. was a holiday Memorial Day When we remember those who Gave their lives uh, In um, defending our nation Um so it's a holiday, and everybody usually does a barbecue. And it looked like we were going to have nobody over at our house, uh, which was just fine. Laura and I were going to have a quiet time here, although I did buy a couple of um, pieces of meat and, and a couple little things if somebody came over. And um, we had invited uh, our son Michael and his wife Kaylin and their three kids but I hadn't heard from them and thought, well, maybe they're not coming. But about 4 o'clock I heard from them. They are coming. So good. Uh, we, Laura and I were out uh, shopping. I was getting her a pair of uh, tennis shoes. And, um, and shortly after that, my son John, who had been out of town, he called, said, hey, uh, we're coming over to your place for t- 
dinner. That's John and Sarah and their four children. And then shortly after that, uh, my daughter Melissa called and said, hey, is anybody coming to your house? Uh, our kids are kind of tired out from playing, and we thought we'd come over. I said, yeah, well, Michael and Kaylin and their three, John and Sarah and their four, why don't you and Jesse and your five children come? So in about uh, 30 minutes, <clears throat> I went from having no people to 18 people uh, extra come into our house. So um, fortunately, I bought a lot of hot dogs and and um, ice cream, and what else did I get? Just anything. Oh, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> anything I could find. But we survived, and it was a beautiful day. And uh, everybody played outside the whole time, which was wonderful. Yeah, so uh, I told you, thank you, by the way, for all the wonderful um, anniversary greetings. Laura and I celebrated um, last week our 51st on May 19th, our 51st uh, wedding anniversary. And um, thank you, uh, June in the Philippines for sending those chocolates. <laughs> we are enjoying them every day. Um, what a wonderful gift. Um, yeah, so we were down, we drove down to the beach just for five days, drove down and, and uh, had a beautiful time there. And uh, it's a funny thing is I was talking to my buddy Lenny on the phone, Lenny LeBlanc, and he said, uh, uh, what are you guys what are you guys doing? I said, well, we, we drove down to the beach uh, to celebrate our, our 51st anniversary. And he goes, well, we're at the beach. I said, what? what really? Where are you? They're about a mile from, from us, they and grandkids and their, uh, he and Sherry and their, grand, you know, their children and grandchildren came down. And uh, so we decided to get together. And that, at the same restaurant we did last year, this is the most bizarre thing. Last year at the same time, Laura and I were down there and Lenny and Sherry were down last year at the same time. So we went to this restaurant and had our picture taken. And I said, we need to go to the same shot, <clears throat> the same place in the dock and have another picture taken. So we did. And here is uh, Lenny. There we are. And those... Yeah, for all of those who love rumors, those are all the yachts we own. That's just a few of them. We own hundreds. No, we don't. We are at a marina, eating at a marina, and there's lots of boats there. Look at what a beautiful day it was. But I, I read things on the Internet sometime about me, and uh, my hobbies are private jets and yachts. You know, I don't know where people get this stuff, but... um. Be careful what you read on the internet about Don Moen. <clears throat> but no, I do not own, uh, I don't even own one boat. But it sure is nice to be around those boats. Let somebody else pay for them and I can enjoy them when I want. Okay. So that's Lenny. Um, it's the funniest thing that we have that same picture. I should have showed both of the pictures, one from last year and one from this year. Anyway, and Laura and I did have some great time together and we had a nice anniversary dinner and here I think you probably saw that on Facebook I posted it on Facebook there we are and uh, celebrating 51 years um, so it was uh, 51 years I mean it's just uh, I, I told people I think did I tell you last no I forget but <clears throat> 51 years over 51 years I've worked hard at changing Laura, changing her to think the way I think, to do the things the way I do things. And uh, guess what? It hasn't worked. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, we're, we're blessed. 51 years. So God is good. Amen. Well, let's see here. We should probably, uh, I get comments, uh, by the way, when I'm traveling. They love, uh, people love um, Worship Wednesdays. And some people say, more talking. And some people say, less talking, more singing. <laughs> so I'm kind of driving down the middle of the road. Last week I had to pre-record something because we were away. Uh, next week I'm going to try to be here uh, this weekend, Friday morning. Laura and I are flying to Wichita, Kansas. And I'm driving to a little town called Pretty Prairie, Kansas. You can look at it. I find it on the map. Pretty Prairie. I'm going to a ranch, a, 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 a farm and a ranch. We're going out in the pasture, setting up a tent, 
just me and the piano and my friends, uh, uh, Pat Crampton is putting this on. She just felt uh, the Lord told her to gather people to pray for a revival. Pray for repent, pr- repent, and pray for revival in our cities, in our nation, in our states, in our, you know, uh, in our churches. Just so that's what we're going to do. And she said, "Would you come and just be at the piano while people pray?" Uh, uh, take a break and we'll worship and then we'll pray and worship and pray and worship. And uh, we're going to be in a tent in the middle of the cow pasture with a generator running my piano. Amazing. Um, I, I wish I had information to tell you where it is. I don't know if 50 people will be there or 500 people, but it's in the middle of farm country, ranch country. Um, and uh, I've done one thing like that with her before. And it's called Praise on the Prairie. But um, this land they've had in their family for years and is dedicated to the Lord. So she uses it to come and uh, invite people to pray and worship. So that's what we're going to do. No band, just me and the piano and the people praying. And just uh, agree with us that that's Saturday afternoon, by the way, from 4 to 7. Saturday afternoon from 4 to 7, we'll be praying and worshiping, praying for revival. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for your prayers for that. I wish you could come. I, I don't know what to tell you. It could be 100 degrees out there. Um, um, I don't know. could be anything. We've been praying for rain. The crops need rain, so we're praying for rain. Okay. Uh, Psalm 121 says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? Tell me, where does your help come from? comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. A thousand may fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand But my help comes from the Lord My help comes from the Lord My help comes from the Lord Maker of heaven and earth He will not allow my foot to be moved He who keeps me will not slumber For the Lord who made the heavens and earth will be my strength forever. A thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, but my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. Yes, my help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. My help comes from the, yes, my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. My help. My help comes from the Lord. Yes, my help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. I was lost in a desert land So dry and thirsty But God was there where He'd always been Giving grace and mercy So hard to sing and hard to pray Yet I knew His Word was true Then one day my faith returned And suddenly I knew Somebody's praying for me Somebody's knocking on heaven's door Somebody's praying for me Somebody's lifting me up to the Lord 
Well, I knew it had to be Somebody down on their knees Somebody praying for me That's right Well, I've been spared by so many prayers How many times I could not say What a difference a prayer can make When it's offered up in faith Well, God has always made a way That's right When I didn't know what to do just when I needed a miracle That's when your prayers broke through Somebody's praying for me Somebody's knocking on heaven's door Somebody's praying for me Oh yes Somebody's lifting me up to the Lord well, I knew it had to be Somebody down on their knees Somebody praying for me That's right Now I know that friend was you You were the gift God gave me Cause when you prayed, His love broke through It was your prayer that saved me So thank you for praying for me Thank you for knocking on heaven's door Thank you for praying for me, oh yes Thank you for lifting me up to the Lord now I can clearly see You were the one on your knees Thank you for praying for me Thank you Somebody's praying for me Somebody's knocking on heaven's door Somebody's praying for me Oh yes, somebody's lifting me up to the Lord Well, I knew it had to be Somebody down on their knees Somebody praying for me Yeah, if you know who the person was that prayed for you before the week is up, I'll give them a call, send them a text, and I say, I know it was you that was praying for me. Yeah, where would we be <clears throat> without those prayers of faith? Uh, amen. So I want to thank you for your prayers. And mean the world to me. I know many of you do, um, and I appreciate it. Makes all the difference. Amen. <clears throat> How many times have you had a close call and driving or a sickness, and the Lord healed you, and 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 it just you just knew somebody was praying. And maybe a mother, a father, a sister, a brother. You know pastor, a friend, um, somebody prayed for you and is praying for you right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you prayed every prayer that you know how to pray Just remember the Lord will hear 
And the answer is on its way Our God is able He is mighty He is faithful And He never sleeps He never slumbers He never tires of hearing our prayer When we are weak He becomes stronger so rest in his love and cast all of your cares on him do you feel that the lord has forgotten your need just remember that god is always working in ways you cannot see that's right our God is able, He is mighty, He is faithful. Sing it. He never sleeps, He never slumbers, He never tires of hearing our prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love, cast all of your care on Him. He never sleeps. Come on, sing it. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never tires of hearing our prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love. Cast all of your care on Him. The Bible says to cast all of your cares on Him because He cares for you. My friend, it's more than a promise. It's a command. So be at rest. Because while we're worshiping today, God is working in ways that you cannot see. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never sleeps. He never slumbers. He never tires of hearing our prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love. Cast all of your care on Him. He never sleeps. Sing it. He never sleeps. Oh, He never slumbers. He never tires of hearing our prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love, cast all of your cares. So rest in His love, and cast all of your cares. So rest in His love, cast all of your cares on Him. He never sleeps, he never slumbers, and he never gets tired of, of hearing you pray. If you have a prayer that has not yet been answered, don't stop praying, because today could be the day when God answers that prayer. Amen. He never sleeps, he never slumbers, and he never gets tired of hearing you pray and God will make a way where there seems to be no way he works in ways we cannot see he will make a way for me he will be my guide hold me closely to his side with love and strength for each new day He will make a way He will make a way God will make a way Where there seems to be no way 
He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make a way. By a roadway in the wilderness, He'll lead me. Rivers in the desert will I see. Heaven and earth will fade, but His Word will still remain. That's right. And He will do something new today. Oh, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way, with love and strength, with love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way, yes He will, He will make a way for you. Oh, yes, He will. And Lord, I ask You to make a way where there seems to be no way. A roadway in the wilderness and a river in the desert for the one who is watching today, crying out to You for a miracle. I thank You, God, that You never sleep, You never slumber. Your Word says nothing is too difficult for You. We put our trust in you today, Lord. I ask you to make a way. Men broken hearts. Heal broken marriages today, I pray. Bring families back together. Make a way financially, Lord. Provide for that need. Provide that job in Jesus' name. Ask you to heal broken bodies today in the name of Jesus. Be healed. The Bible says God is enthroned on the praises of his people. So as we've worshiped today from all over the world, he has been here with us. He's here right now in our midst, in your home, in our homes, wherever you are in your car. And he's here to make a way for you today. He's here to heal, to save, to deliver, to provide for every need. So be healed in the name of Jesus. Let his life flow through you now. Fill in your lungs, driving out that virus, that disease in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Lord, we thank you for your presence here today. We love you, Lord. And we worship you. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this Worship Wednesday. Um, time flies. It's, uh, I've already gone, wow. Uh, I say hello to a couple more folks. Hi, Faith in Korea watching uh, Shannon in West Virginia, Ruby Johnson. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. Uh, love you. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Pivey. Pivey from Thunder Bay, Ontario. And I'm sure it's P-A-I-V-I. -I, and I'm sure it's a Finnish name, Pivey. 
from Thunder Bay, Ontario. Uh, Daniel asks if the Praise on the Prairie event will be live streamed. <clears throat> That's a good question. I I wonder if it will. You know, I'll how can I find out? I'll find out, and I'll post something. On if it's going to be live streamed, I'll post it on my uh, website. I go to um, what's the best way? I guess go to go to our website donmowen dot uh, com. Uh, forward slash tour. Do that. DonMowen.com forward slash tour. And I'll try to, if I can get the tour details, uh, I'll try to get them to you. Again, it's pretty prairie, Kansas. It's no, it's kind of west, northwest of Wichita, Kansas. So you can find Wichita on the map. You can find your way to pretty prairie. Um, just follow the cattle. Follow the uh, two or three hundred head of cattle walking in the prairie and you'll find me singing. Anyway, uh, I'll let you know. Hey, Kay uh, says, Laura looks so young and beautiful. Well, thank you, Kay. I will tell her that, you know, she does. She, I'm, I'm blessed. She always looks so good. And this morning I said, Hey, you want to come up and do the live stream with me? And she goes, "Mm, my hair is back in a ponytail. Anyway, she would have been fine. I should have brought her up. Uh, Let's see, Tara says, Laura doesn't look a day over 45. Yeah, thank you. Boy, she'll love that. Um, she it, she looks young. You know, she just looks young, and I, I figure if she keeps looking young, I'll <laughs> hopefully people won't see, see the wrinkles on my face. But anyway, I'm blessed. Uh, Vivian, ask how my dad is doing. Thank you for asking. He is 98. Pray for dad. In fact, you know what? We should just have a prayer for dad. He, about a month ago, <clears throat> he still lives by himself and um, uh, in drives and stuff, but uh, he had a little bout of num- a catacold, which went into a little bit of pneumonia in one of his lungs. And so he got weak. But um, my sisters have been there. My brother uh, just uh, trying to fatten him up, taking care of him a little bit. So let's uh, pray for dad. Thank you, Lord, for touching dad right now, uh, healing his lungs, restoring his strength in the name of Jesus. Yeah, we pray for his healing right now. Amen. Thank you for asking. Um, uh, Regina asks, let's see, where are we here? Um, Annette in Germany. Chad in Lancaster, PA, Anne in Singapore joining again. Thanks, Anne. Catherine watching from Copenhagen. Um, Regina's asked if Lenny and Sherry, when is today Lenny and Sherry's anniversary? You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it is. Uh, I'll have to look on my Facebook page to see if, if it's their anniversary or not. Uh, uh, Luke is praying for his parents' salvation. Terry and Gail. Yeah, we pray for Terry and Gail. Um, Lord, call them right now by your spirit. Call them um, and and draw them to yourself. Let them know you in Jesus' name. Jeffrey in Amsterdam. Hey, Jeffrey. Charmel in South Africa. I uh, wish I could get there. We tried. I don't know that that tour is going to happen in September. Howard in Korea. Hi, Howard. Jolie watching from uh, Thailand. I've been there. God bless you. Uh, Benjamin in Houston. Hey, Benjamin, watching again. Good to have you with us again. Annaline in Peter Maritzburg, South Africa. Thanks for joining again. Charles from Joburg, Johannesburg, South Africa, where I became engaged. That's where I proposed to Laura in April of 1973 on the streets of Johannesburg. And then we got married in May. So now 51 years later, here we are. Mimi in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Judy in West Yorkshire, England. Ra- Raquel from Brazil. Hello, Raquel. Uh, Terson from Guam. Jornino watching in Singapore. All right. Well, um, the Bible says to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, but we're going to close with thanksgiving. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. 
Let the weak say I am strong Let the poor say I am rich Because of what the Lord has done for us give thanks yes we do we give you thanks we give thanks amen well god bless you thank you for joining me for this worship wednesday remember god is always working in ways that you cannot see at this moment he's working in ways that you cannot see to make a way where there seems to be no way i love you all and i look forward to seeing you next wednesday right here god bless